should I do now? If only Sino was still around. Oh, I appreciate the concern, but who are you? Ah, friends of Sino! Well, I suppose it's not a secret or anything. Since you two are interested, I'll just lay it out for you. My name is Nabil. I'm a Matra in the Academia. A case involving the smuggling of canned knowledge has come to our attention recently, but unfortunately, we don't have the people to handle it at the moment. Huh? You mean the Academia is short on Matra right now? Well, not exactly. I suppose the main problem is that the case suddenly came up after General Mahamatra Sino left to go somewhere. It would be a real headache for us to tackle the case ourselves. Given the large scope of the issue, we talked things over internally and decided that we should find further assistance from outside the Matra. If you two have some time, would you lend us your strength? Hmm. Alright, since you asked so nicely, we'll help. Yes, large amounts of canned knowledge from unknown origins have been appearing on the market recently. We suspect there's a secret route being used to move the capsules. According to some research, using large amounts of canned knowledge could lead to some serious consequences. And, unfortunately, most people have yet to realize that. Rumors also have it that some particularly dangerous canned knowledge has made its way into the market. Regardless of whether the rumors are true or not, this case calls for urgent action. According to our current leads, it's highly likely that there are dealers selling canned knowledge outside the city, even as we speak. If you two could, please help us investigate the area. You can count on us! Let's go! Huh? It's Sino. Uh, what are you doing here? Ah, it's you two. I knew I sensed a familiar presence. I'm currently in the middle of an investigation here. We'll have to chat some other time. There's been a recent case of canned knowledge smuggling. It seems that the smugglers are following an elaborate and dangerous scheme. I just happened to acquire some intel which led me here. Hey, what do you know? We're also here to investigate that. I see. Well, the situation might be more problematic than you anticipated. I've already questioned several people, but gained very little information. Long story short, I was able to learn of the secret location where the canned knowledge is being sold. You're welcome to accompany me if you're interested. Whoa, that sounds pretty complicated. But having Sino around will definitely make things easier. Alright, let's go round up those bad guys. Time to go.
this all you got? Hmm. Seems even less than last time. What difference does it make? If you see something you like, buy it. If not, then keep walking. They've been cracking down on us lately, so we don't have much on hand. If you see something that catches your eye, then now's your chance. There's no telling when we'll have more. <sighs> what does the Academia think they're doing? All right, I'll take these here. Let me see what else you have. Now, I don't see any real gems in this batch. It's all pretty ordinary stuff. Whatever, how much do I owe you? 150k. Show us the Mora, and you'll get the goods. Put the Mora down and your hands up. Huh, it's Sino! <sighs> When's he ever gonna let up? Hey, forget the goods! Let's split! But don't forget the Mora! Dun dun! Not so fast! You can't skate with Paimon on the case! What is this? He's got backup now? Doesn't everyone say Sino works alone? Ugh, I don't like the looks of this. Either way, it's gonna be a tough fight. Any ideas? It's over. It's not like we're making a big cut anyway. I'm not losing my life here. Huh? Did they really just give up like that? Just like the others I've caught. They're not deep in the circle, just dealers at the bottom of the chain. All right. I have one question and one question only. Where did you get this canned knowledge? Uh, well, uh, the pickup location is different every time. The boss tells us where it's gonna be, and that's it. We don't get a say in it. He sends someone every five days to bring us the goods. And when is the next batch coming? I, I, I don't know. He's telling the truth, honest. Normally, we should have received a shipment three days ago, but we didn't get anything. The stock we have right now is from eight days ago, which is why there isn't much left. I know exactly why they didn't receive their last batch. Three days ago is exactly when I started my investigation. I suspect who's ever running this whole thing knew that I was coming. So they cut all contact with these dealers. When you were trying to escape, you said something about me working alone. Where did you hear that from? Are you kidding? We've known your name since day one in this business. The boss warned us to watch out and even gave us info about you. But here we are. I guess we never stood a chance. <laughs> they already knew all about me and were trying to avoid being detected from the very beginning. These small fries are the only ones they leave out in the open. And no matter how many we catch, it won't further our investigation. If only we had another lead. Like a merchant who sells large amounts of canned knowledge. Huh? Oh, you mean someone like Dur? Uh, nothing? Hmm? Do you have a potential suspect? You'd better bring them to me for judgment. That's right. I won't turn a blind eye on any dangerous suspect. Oh! Uh, sounds like we shouldn't ever let Sino meet Dory. I see. Anyway, I'll think of a way to deal with these two and then continue gathering information. If you manage to learn anything, you can find me at Caravan Rebot. And as for you... I don't ever want to catch you buying canned knowledge again. If you possess any unused knowledge capsules, then you should submit them to the authorities immediately. Okay, okay, I got it. Just keep your nose out of my business. Hey, what's with the attitude, mister? What, you got a problem with that too? Listen, buying canned knowledge is a deal between two people. The buyer 
I'm a seller. We don't need people like you buttoning in on our business here. Think about it. If the academia is hoarding something as convenient and useful like canned knowledge, then they must have been planning only to use it for themselves. Am I right? The academia has clearly published the potential dangers of canned knowledge. I don't like having to repeat things. And besides, I'm sure you wouldn't listen anyway. I just hope you understand that your actions are what fuels the smuggling of canned knowledge. If I ever catch you again, I will personally see to it that you are punished. All right, Traveler. I need to go now. You think you can scare me? <sighs> Traveler, why don't we go talk to Dory? She's got loads of connections and might be able to tell us something about all this. Hmm, if Paima remembers correctly, she's usually at the Palace of Alcazar's Array. Let's go! Time to go. It is the last link I have. I see. So that's the latest scoop. <laughs> Good thing you didn't rat me out. Otherwise, who knows where I'd have to be hiding to avoid attention. No idea. Sorry. I've already cashed out of the canned knowledge business. Huh? You mean you stopped selling it? That's right. With so much canned knowledge flooding the market, it was becoming impossible to fetch decent prices anymore. Besides, it seems that group of smugglers has practically taken over the market. It's a little rule of mine to never fight for a share of someone else's market. If I'm gonna make Mora, it's gonna be the lion's share. Plus, with regulations getting as tight as they are now, I figured I might as well just hang it up. Oh, it sounds like we came all this way for nothing! Well, not completely. Granted, I don't know who's behind all the smuggling activity, but since you didn't sell me out, I'll let you in on what I do know. After all, those smugglers have really crossed the line, butting their way into the market like that. I hope their luck runs out soon so that I can take over. <clears throat> I mean, so that the industry can become more fairly regulated. Hey, you just want to make more business for yourself. <laughs> Don't underestimate its value. Think about it. You can gain all sorts of knowledge while bypassing the troublesome process of studying. Naturally, that makes it a product worth a high price. Of course, not everyone needs that kind of knowledge, but in a market as big as Sumeru, there is plenty of demand. Plus, the cost of production is relatively low, so even if dealers have to cover transportation costs, there's still an enormous profit to be made. Then why does the Academia prohibit selling canned knowledge? <laughs> Being able to gain complex knowledge and become a scholar with the snap of your fingers does sound like a dream, doesn't it? But everything in the world comes at a price, right? Gaining knowledge is a complicated process. It requires learning, thinking, and practice. 
Even when it comes to my own business, I have to go through a lot of preparation before I put anything out for sale. But with canned knowledge, one may simply skip all the hassle and get whatever they need to know immediately. That inherently leads to at least two potential problems. First, you'll accept the knowledge as factual without a second thought, and you'll find it very hard to forget. This means that if the knowledge is flawed, then it'll be very difficult to correct. And second, excess use of knowledge capsules over an extended time diminishes your ability to think. You'll end up becoming like a library that can only store knowledge. Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. Traveler, you used canned knowledge before. Did you feel any negative effects? Of course, using it sparingly is not an issue, which is exactly why I used to sell it. It's just like how medicine can be used to cure diseases, but can also do harm when overused. It all comes down to balancing the right amount. <clears throat> anyway, back to the point. There'll be consequences if the sale of canned knowledge by those smugglers is left unchecked. And what's worse, you're playing right into their hands by focusing only on the canned knowledge that's made its way into the market. As far as I know, their real purpose is to distribute information about the Court of Desolation. That's where the real business opportunity is. The Court of Desolation? What's that? Rumor has it that it's a site of ruins from the age of King Deshret. It's said that with the treasures inside, one can see beyond life and death. But any research of the ruins is strictly banned by the Academia. Word on the street is that there'll be an auction taking place in the desert. They're auctioning rare can knowledge, some of which is related to the Court of Desolation. Once I heard about the auction, I began to suspect that all the canned knowledge popping up on the market is just a diversion. I'd wager that their real target is the Court of Desolation. Because studying those ruins is not just a simple matter. It requires knowledge spanning several fields. So, if they're aiming to quickly assemble a research team, can knowledge would be the best solution. As for the auction, chances are they're trying to attract and scout out anyone with interest or expertise on the subject. On the other hand, no one can say for sure that they will ever succeed in finding the Court of Desolation. So, they might as well just make a fortune while they're at it, by hyping up the related can knowledge at the auction. Paima, like we better head to the desert and see the auction. Who knows, we might find some leads there. That's right. And now that I've shared all that valuable info with you, it's time to introduce our limited edition desert travel kit. It comes complete with a map straight to the auction location. As I said, I also have to make preparations before I sell things, right? Now, Consider how much I should sell this for. I've got it! 500,000 Mora per gift! That's quite the bargain. We'll even offer a 50% discount for Little Paimon's travel kit. Only 250,000 Mora. What? That's super expensive! No need to worry, little one. Sino's the one heading this investigation, isn't he? I'll be sure to bill all the expenses to him. All you'll need to do is tell him to go to the Merchant's Guild and pay the bill once the mission is completed. Uh, just, uh, be sure to not send him directly here, though, okay? That would leave me completely in the open. I'm sure the former General Mahamatra of the Academia would never leave any debt unpaid. Oh, the Mora. I can see it already. Loads of shiny Mora coming Dory's way. We'd better get going. If Dory keeps at it, we'll be out of Mora.
the smugglers are really after is a chance to research the Court of Desolation. They are hosting an auction in the desert to sell canned knowledge about those ruins. The Court of Desolation. I won't ask how you came by this intel, but is it reliable? We also heard that the Court of Desolation contains treasures from the time of King Deshrek. Is that true? Partially. It was a secret place built by a dark sect from the age of King Deshret. The ruins do contain treasures, but the place is also rife with unknown dangers. According to past research, one must forfeit their life as the price of entering. They are not some ordinary ruins, so the Academia has strictly prohibited any related research. However, if they are using the canned knowledge as a way to move information and recruit researchers, then I suppose your conclusion does hold some validity. <sighs> Regardless, we need to go into the desert. Less in recent years, but there are always those who attempt to do so, both inside and outside the academia. After all, Legends claim that whoever obtains the treasures inside can see beyond life and death. Or even... ...resurrect the dead. Death is often the greatest grievance for many people. Though they're fully aware that the chance of these rumors being true are slim... ...they hold tight to such fantasies... ...and pursue them regardless. That's why some continue to research it... ...regardless of it being a restricted subject. On top of that... It's hard to track the source of information contained in canned knowledge. Do you know where the auction is taking place? Good. We'll go investigate. But before that, we'll have to get rid of these people tailing us. Huh? People tailing us? That's right. Let's begin to leave town and see what happens. I'm sure they'll reveal themselves as soon as we make a move. Don't worry. I'll make short work of them. That's Sino for ya. But we can lend a hand too, you know! to the wind. Hold it right there. Heading to the desert, are we? I would think twice if I were you. Huh? Who are you? That doesn't matter. All you need to know is that someone wishes to inform you that it's not too late to turn back. Ah, uh, you must be Sino. I've heard a lot about you. You've got quite a reputation. But this time you're in over your head. Unless you turn around right now, I'm afraid that even you won't return unscathed. And as for you two, why bother sticking your noses in trouble that doesn't even concern you, hmm? Have you really thought it through? You're not just doing this for recognition, are you, Sino? My employer said that he's willing to compromise as long as you just walk away. He could, for example, reduce the amount of canned knowledge on the market. I'm sure that would help your investigation appear to be successful enough. On top of that, he's willing to give you a cut of the profit. So you see, you get both Mora and a boost to your reputation. 
I can't think of a reason why you would pass that up. Is that so? Well, I can't think of a reason why I'd accept. I've heard enough. Get out of my way. Sorry, no can do. We're getting paid to ensure you disappear. Since you won't turn back willingly, then we're gonna have to make you go back. Happy to apply. Surrender. New punch. Steady as to. This doesn't change anything. You're in over your head, Sino. There will be others coming for you. You'll regret it. Let's get out of here. No need. Even if we apprehend them, there'll be little information to gain. Besides, it might also be a trap. I apologize for bringing you into this dangerous mess. Just being associated with me will inevitably cause you to become targets as well. You should be careful from now on. Sleep with one eye open. Wait, hold on. There's no way anyone could sleep without closing their eyes. Uh, right? You'd be surprised. Anyway, just be careful. Mercenaries are never quick to forget. In their line of work, even a single failure is bad for reputation. They may even stay hidden in some dark corner for a very long time, waiting for the right moment to ambush you. They'll do anything to keep their prestige intact. Yes, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was carrying out a mission with one of my superiors. I didn't have much experience at the time. And I let my guard down after we had closed the case. We ended up being attacked by the remainder of the mercenaries. My superior was injured while protecting me. And we struggled to gain control of the situation. <sighs> I've become more vigilant ever since. Staying alert even while I sleep. Ooh, who could have seen that coming? Was he okay? He survived with a fractured wrist. It took two months for him to recover. But luckily, there weren't any further complications. Last year, he transferred to an administrative role for personal reasons, and no longer participates in live missions. His name is Taj Ratkani, a very well-respected Matra. You'll have the chance to meet him someday. Anyway, our mission will be dangerous. I'm already used to such grueling conditions, but I don't want to see you two get hurt. Don't worry, Paimon will stay alert. We'll see danger coming a mile away! Good. Don't worry, it won't be long till we're at the bottom of this. And once this is all over, 
I'll sweep away any other hidden dangers. Follow the wind. We still have a long way to go, so you'll need to hang in there for a while longer. This is not a good place to rest anyway. Uh, okay, but don't you feel hot too, Sino? Of course, but I'm accustomed to these conditions. Care to share any tips? Paimon's about to melt away. Just try to stay focused. Use your willpower to support your mind. The moment you start to give in is when you'll feel more tired. Take one step after another. Don't let your mind perceive your body's limitations. We must get somewhere safe before we can relax. Uh, okay, if you say so. But where would be a more safe place to rest? Paimon thinks this is a perfectly safe place to stop. Just look around, it's just sand and desert. There aren't any monsters for miles around. Oh, where did these scorpions come from? Watch out. Something's not right about them. At the frying pan, our bond is strong. Those weren't just normal scorpions. See? There are marked numbers on their pincers. They were raised by someone. Someone doesn't want us to show up at the auction. These scorpions were sent to keep us away. We are surrounded by desert as far as the eye can see. If we were killed out here, nobody would ever know. This place is super dangerous. Good thing we didn't let our guard down. Something's not right. There are no roads in the desert, so how could they know where we are? Stay still. Here's the answer. They must have planted this on you. Huh? What is it? A miniature tracking device made by the Kasharwar. They can use this to discern your approximate location. But this device wasn't licensed for mass production. <laughs> Where did they get it? Could someone from the Kasharwar also be involved? Hmm. <laughs> but that doesn't seem right. Whoa! Paimon never knew that kind of thing even existed! Why would it be on her? I probably planted it on the Traveler during our fight with the mercenaries earlier. It was a frantic fight. It's only natural you didn't notice the device. <sighs> well, good thing you were able to find it, Sino. Now let's get rid of it. Hmm. No. Hold on to it for now. It might still be useful for us. Let's keep heading to the auction. It would be dangerous to linger here any longer. Wind's 
Maybe they're on break right now or something. They didn't waste any time getting here after we defeated those mercenaries. They shouldn't have been able to give any warning of our arrival. But even so, they still knew we were coming. Someone here must have been watching the tracker and warned everyone to clear out. Aw, what should we do now? We searched the area. They couldn't have moved all the knowledge capsules so quickly. There might still be something left for us to find. All right, let's take a good look around the area. Did you find anything? No, nothing in particular. It's possible there weren't many knowledge capsules containing info about the Court of Desolation, so they carried those off. But don't worry, I have another idea. You two start heading back the way we came. I will remain hidden here. Come back and meet me here after some time has passed. I'm sure something will come up by then. They packed up in a hurry and didn't have time to carry off all their goods. They won't just leave them here. Once they think we've left the premises, they'll be back to pick up their belongings. We just need to make sure the tracker goes far enough from here to make them assume that it's safe to come back. Hope! Paimon gets it! We'll lure them out because they'll think we've left! Okay, we'll start heading away, and leave this place to you. Yes, and don't worry. If they dare to return, I'll make sure they stay. gone far enough now, right? Oh, yay. Let's rest. 
us for a little while before we go back to find Sino. Hmm. It's probably about time for us to head back to the auction. Let's go. Maybe Sino's finally found some leads. Time to go. So you're the bad guy behind all this, aren't ya? All right, tip time on everything you know. I didn't act immediately when he showed up. Rather, I laid low and observed for a while instead. He is not the primary instigator, but he is most likely one of the more important dealers here. Am I right? Yes, impressive. You certainly live up to your reputation, Sino. If I had any idea you were still around, I wouldn't have gotten so greedy. Huh? Greedy? What do you mean by that? Once everyone knew you were coming, all the canned knowledge dealers abandoned their goods and fled at once. Obviously, there wasn't time to pack up everything. Since all the goods were just left here unsupervised, I thought I'd use the opportunity to come back and take what I could. You know, free merchandise is good business, but... <sighs> I suppose there's no use explaining it now. You must know who's manufacturing and selling the canned knowledge, correct? Will you tell us willingly? Or do I need to make you talk? No, no. I'll talk. But before that... Perhaps we can take the conversation elsewhere? If we stay here, chances are that someone will see me with you. That would put both me and my family in danger. All right. Where do you suggest we go? How about my home in Aru Village? It should be safe there. Fine. Let's head out. You can throw away the tracker now, Traveler. You better not try to trick us! Come on now. Do you really think I'd try to pull anything? have guests? Uh, hi there. This is my daughter, Simi. She can be a little shy of strangers. Why don't you run along now, dear? Dad needs to talk with our guests. Oh, okay. Everyone knows Sino in our business, but let me ask, who are you two? To be honest, I really didn't expect to see Sino, the lone operator, working with any partners. When I saw the tracker start moving away, I assumed you had decided to just go back empty-handed. But even though you caught me, I'd still urge you to stop while you still can. You should abandon this investigation. Why is that? Everything from the manufacturing of canned knowledge to the sales and even splitting the profits. Every step of the process involves dozens, if not hundreds of people. Massive profits have brought everyone together in this business. Everyone will try their best to defend this industry that we've worked to build. It will be a long and difficult fight, even for you, Sino. And even if you manage to win in the end, no one will thank you. If anything, you yourself might even feel remorse. Why are you so bent on putting us out of business? Everyone has their own reasons for what they do. I don't have to explain mine. 
<sighs> Here's some tea, Dad. And for the guests, too. Ah, uh, right. I forgot to offer tea to our guests. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. And, uh... I should tell you that our tea tastes kind of bitter, but I put some sugar in to make it a little tastier. That's my girl. Do we still have any sugar left? If not, I'll buy some more next time. Yes, we do. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go have a rest now. Didn't you say that everyone's in it for the massive profits? That sure doesn't seem to be the case for you. <clears throat> Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I was hoping to ask you for a favor. My daughter was born with a chronic disease, so she has a relatively weak heart and lungs. Even slightly strenuous exercise can cause her to faint and prove to be a life-threatening risk. That's why she never really had any friends to play with, and why she locks herself up in her room most of the time. She has to take lots of medicine, and it doesn't come cheap. As for me, I was just an average merchant. I would wake up early and travel all around to make a profit. But the mora was still nowhere near enough. I could only watch my daughter's health deteriorate day by day. Until one day, someone reached out and showed me a way to really make a profit. Selling canned knowledge. That's right. With all the mora I made, I could finally afford medical treatment for my daughter. Nothing made me happier than seeing her get better. There are many others like me. Smuggling canned knowledge might seem like an unforgivable crime to you, but to us, it's a means of survival. I wanted to tell you all this so that maybe you could understand and change your mind. Please, stay out of this, Sino. Give us a way to survive. Oh no. That means... That if we prevent the sale of canned knowledge, his daughter will... <laughs> I must get to the truth. I can find someone to help treat your child, but I cannot turn a blind eye to the smuggling. These are two completely different issues. <sighs> I somehow knew you would say that. But having your word to help my daughter is enough for me. Since you insist on continuing the investigation, you should have a look around the back of my home. You'll find some goods I received just recently. I think everything will become clear to you once you see them. Whoa! Look at all of this! Yes. All neatly packed away and organized in boxes. To think. And this is only one dealer's worth. Small producers can impossibly support such a large quantity of goods. Hmm. Could the academia have a hand in this? But such a volume of goods wouldn't be able to slip through inspection. Huh? Look! These seem different from the other knowledge capsules we've seen. Maybe they contain knowledge about the Court of Desolation. Yes, that would make sense. Wait, what's this? Yes, it's a Matra seal, indicating that the goods have passed Matra inspection. I started to suspect that someone in the academia might be involved when I found the tracker earlier. But how they could ship so much canned knowledge out of the academia was still a mystery. The pieces have now all fallen into place. With this Matra seal, goods can leave the academia without undergoing a second inspection. <laughs> no wonder they don't want me to investigate. It turns out that a Matra is behind this. Even I find it hard to believe. Could I ask you for a favor, Traveler? Since all this canned knowledge came from the academia, 
then it's highly likely that the knowledge regarding the Court of Desolation originated from research files stored within the Academia. If we can enter the repository, we can find out who accessed these files. But, considering my current status, if I suddenly show up at the Academia now, it will only draw unnecessary attention. You'll need to be the one who checks the records. I'll write a letter to Nabil, and he'll take you there. Sure thing! Leave it to us! I'll also keep working here in the meantime. Although our leads are all currently pointing to someone within the Academia, it's obvious that they also have power outside of it. We can get more information on other dealers from Bahari. I'll stay here and make some preparations. You can come find me any time if you uncover more info. Hello, we meet again. How's the investigation going? Oh, so you were able to find Sino after all. I hope he's doing all right. I read the letter and must admit that I hadn't expected things to be so serious. Sorry, had I known it would be so dangerous, I never would have gotten you two involved. We wanted to help Sino, too! <laughs> I can tell that he really trusts you. The research files stored away in the restricted repository are far from ordinary. Everything there is essentially about dangerous research that's forbidden by the Academia. Even I don't usually have authorization to enter. But with this letter from Sino, it shouldn't be a problem. That's right. Granted, the Academia is very supportive when it comes to research. They encourage scholars to conduct all kinds of studies. However, some forms of research have proven to be so dangerous that the Matra have to step in and put a stop to them. Normally, after some particular research becomes prohibited, the majority of the related files will be destroyed. But some information may be retained as a record to warn later researchers. Such information is kept in the restricted repository which is heavily guarded. Follow me, I'll show you. Hopefully we'll find the answers that Sino is looking for. The restricted repository. Uh, sounds kinda dangerous. We'd better keep an eye out. Time to go. Okay, I understand. Since Sino is vouching for you, I suppose we can trust you. You may browse the information regarding the Court of Desolation. Ask me if you have any questions. <laughs> 